Hi friends, welcome to Automation with Bash Shell Scripting and we are from VR Technologies. First, let me go with what is a shell. See, the shell is the Linux command line interpreter. Simply, shell executes the commands or scripts. See, suppose this is my command line for my CentOS operating system and here, let's say I am running command called ls. So, ls is executing and we are getting some result. So, here that execution part will be done by the shell and there are different types of shells to execute commands or scripts in our unix or linux environment and those we can see just by reading the shells file under etc location suppose on my centos operating system i have these are the different types of shells so in your case you can also read shells file under etc location See, these are the different types of shells. But here, whenever if you are running your command on your command line, that command will be executed by the one of the shell. So at present, what is the shell your command line is using? To know that, simply run echo dollar shell bin bash. That means on my command line, bash is the shell we are using to execute our commands going forward scripts as well. So here among all these shells bash is the popular and advanced shell. That's why even our course is bash shell scripting. That's fine. Now let me go with what is a shell script. Be clear here shell script could be bash shell script or k shell script or sh shell script or t shell script any shell script. So basically what is a shell script? Shell script is a sequence of commands pasted in a text file. Let me take a very simple example to explain about this. Suppose I want to find the versions info of some DevOps tools like Java, Git, Jenkins, Nginx, Docker or Kubernetes, Ansible. Let me take some of them. Suppose if you want to find the Java version, this is the command. And if you want to find the Docker version, this is the command. And Ansible version, this is the command. Now, if you place all these three commands in a text file, then that is called a shell script like this. See, simply I have taken some file, any file, text file, in that we place three commands one by one in sequence. Now, this is a simple shell script. Now, you can execute this to see the result. Let me show you that on my command line. Suppose this is a simple shell script where we mentioned our three commands. Now I want to run this shell script. But anyway, in our case, required shell is bash. Bash, simple shell script. Yes, you are getting the result for your three commands. That's it. This is a simple shell script. So simply shell script is a sequence of commands pasted in a text file. But while writing real time scripts along with your sequence of commands, you have to add some logic. So that we will see in our course. For that only we are going through this course. Fine. Now, why we need to develop shell scripts? So basically, we are developing shell scripts to automate repetitive tasks in our Unix or Linux environment. Now let me explain this concept with an example. See basically in real time, we do release or deployment or patching on weekends. So just assume that same thing is happening for DevOps tools as well. That's why on every Monday, I want to verify all the DevOps tools versions info. Be clear. This is a repeated activity on every Monday. I want to verify it. So if you don't know about shell script concept, then what we do basically on command line, we run commands for each and every tool to find the versions. But if you know shell scripting concept, then we place all commands in one file and simply we run that file. So that we will get the versions info of your required tools. See, suppose this is my one of the simple shell script just to find the all my required DevOps tools versions information. Now I am running that. Simply I am getting the tool name and its version. That's it. So whenever it is required means on every Monday, once I log in, simply I will run this script in this way so that I will get my tools information. Now assume that 
this information i want to share with my team members then you have to compose a mail first you have to run this script and then you have to compose a mail by copying and pasting this information in your mail and then you have to send it to your team members instead of that you can use mail concept in your scripts itself so that whenever if you run your shell script it will automatically send a mail to your team members see i have one more shell script where we use mail concept so this is a shell script where we use mail concept and using this we are sending the all the tools information let's say in my case i have taken this as the mail id but in your real time you can take here dl now let me run this so before running let me open my mailbox as of now there are no latest mails now let me run it it has been executed and let me refresh it yes you got a mail open it yes you are getting your tools information here again here on every monday i have to run this shell script manually to send the devops tools information to my team members so why should i run on every monday this shell script manually instead of that you can schedule a job see suppose i already scheduled a job on every monday automatically this shell script will be executed and the result will be shared through a mail so now you got some clarity i mean why we need to automate repetitive tasks in our unix or linux environment and this is one of the simple example you will have n number of examples in your real time and in our course i will go with some of the examples so that you will be good with bash shell scripting and these are the some of the examples so guys finally shell scripting is a great way to automate repetitive tasks in our unix or linux environment okay thank you